So we got step number two of the, um, we'll call it the uh, ultimate backcountry Tacoma on a budget because we're not doing too crazy of things here, but we're gonna do enough that it's gonna be able to get us from A to B in the backcountry while being able to facilitate all the needs of a hunter. We're gonna put a decked system in the back of the Tacoma that we got from Phil Meter up in Pocatello, Idaho and uh, we're gonna install it. So we're gonna go through the process of what it's like installing it. And by say we, I mean me and Hunter, and I mean mostly Hunter with my supervision. All right, Hunter, what's step number one? Take it out of the box. Take it out of the box, I like it. Yeah. Okay, take it out of the box and then. It's probably easiest to. Assemble some things. On the floor, outside of the bed. Okay, yeah. how can I help you lift stuff? Just get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> So on a full-size vehicle, it's a little easier since the, the hooks are kind of in the right locations for anchoring the drawers. Um, but on the Tacoma, it's a little tougher. We do have to drill some holes. We got the right tools now and we should be good to go. All right, so the first step is prepping the box itself. So we're gonna make sure it's level. So we're, what we're doing here is we're gonna put in some shims. We're gonna attach some brackets. And then, um, what's after that? Then you start assembling the box. Then you start assembling the box. So we didn't have any Windex or alcohol in here to <laughs> clean it, so we're using hand sanitizer. Um, it's like 100 bucks a gallon. That's gold right now. Right now. I know, That's so bucks an ounce. I'm Probably. just using a very small amount. But these have adhesive strips on them, the shims. So I'm just cleaning the surface first and then putting the shims down. These shims are used to level out the box so the drawers will slide. So they have these ones that go over these um, bolts in the back of the bed, and then they have two smaller ones that go in the middle. So essentially, this is this is the base of the box yeah. where we're at. Cool, so we put the shims in, um, we have the brackets in, and this is the start of the drawers. This is the wall that is in between the two drawers. This side's kind of like your, it looks like two foot drawer, and this side's maybe a foot and a half. Um, and then we're just building this and we'll put it in the back. Yeah, let me hold that, Hunter. Eric decided to show up. Let me yeah, hold that for you, up. Hunter. Now that I'm done, he shows up. Hunter's the man. So these say... So these are uh, passenger side studs. Not sure what they're for. Yeah, I don't either. Looks like one goes on one side. Oh, one it goes over the wheelbase? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Eric's showing up acting like he knows what he's talking about. This is uh, probably one of the best instruction sets we've ever read. It makes it a lot less painful. It's pretty funny. Keep loose, yoga helps, meaning you don't tighten these down all the way. So this part goes over the wheelbase, and then the next, the next step is putting on the back panel, I believe. And then we'll go from that. Here we are, front and front page of this instruction booklet tools required make sure you have all these yeah and this thing it actually ended up being a t30 for us oh really yep so we didn't need that big set no that's all right <laughs> so now these brackets that i'm putting on um it says to do it loosely because these are gonna pivot according to the angle of your wheel well so we'll put that on there we're gonna do the same thing to this one So hand tighten them so that they can fit the wheel well. Right. Because next up we'll lift this in, this whole thing in, to the truck bed and then anchor it down. So now we just need to lift this into the bed and then we're going to drill three holes into the wheel well so we can anchor the back of the box. Lift up your brackets. So there's like an arrow up there 
that shows you where the center of the like the drawer compartments are. So we just need to line up that arrow with the center of the bed. And it looks like it's pretty straight on. This is now going behind the wheel well to match up to the bracket that essentially anchors the deck box to the bed. So the one bolt that was loose that we left for the bracket to pivot against the wheel well, we just tighten that one down and there isn't any more drilling. So we should be good to go. Putting the ammo cans into the back of the bed. And then these are the rails that you're, uh, I believe the wheels roll in, um, and then we're gonna anchor the ammo cans to the back, and then I'll get us ready to put the top on. There's just these cans, and then in the top of the deck, it has uh, little lids that you can lift to have access to these, so you don't have to roll out your drawers every time, or open your uh, tailgate, so it's pretty cool. You got an ammo can on one side, and an ammo can on the other side. Starting to look like a decked bed system. So we're just attaching the, the rails now to the back of the bed. Hunter, are you sponsored by Black & Decker? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> so these front bolts are just uh, loosely tightened um, because I think they have to be able to move for the top decks that are going to go on here on this next step. Make sure to follow the steps, huh? Or else you freaking. There's not that many, but um, it just takes a little bit. It'll be worth it. It's going to be cool. Hunter has a nice J hook when he plays basketball. Oh, wait, is that the sky hook? This is just sets nicely right on top of here. And don't lift it over. Boom. Boom, fits right in there. Fits like a glove. Almost a glove. But yeah, these are those ammo cans about so now you can reach so they're in from, open and then you can reach in from the top and grab whatever you need that's cool yeah oh we made another appearance shut up we'll just slide that in move your fingers my job is to put the nylon washer between the head mm -hmm. something like that the head and then the metal washer. So let me help you out. Yeah, this isn't metal, it's rubber. This ain't a washer, it's a bolt, you numb nut. <laughs> you just called You're an idiot. You're I was just... talking about that washer. It ain't metal, you called it metal. You said oh, metal washer. It's a nylon and a rubber. Yeah. Okay, I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a installation genius by any means, but I'm guessing that this plastic washer coupled with this a uh, rubber washer against the bolt itself is what's going to keep water from coming out or coming through through the bolts themselves. And there's two like foam inserts that right here yeah, there's foam clamp inserts. down to keep water from coming through. So this thing's pretty brilliant. Whoa. Whoa, that's a big word, dude. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Brilliantly engineered. Um, they've already got, it's like they've thought through everything. It's 
pretty cool. Okay, so the secret on putting the bolts in on the top is just kind of do them all loosely because if you were to tighten these down, these ones would be off. These ones would be off. So you kind of loosely do it until you, you can, get them all lined up. And then you can kind of bump this one around to line up the holes. Cool, so we've anchored all of the top to the bottom pieces that we did before. And now we are going to anchor the box to the brackets that we did right at the very start. So we're gonna do that one next. So these are the J hooks that it comes with. So this hook just goes through here, up into this hole in the ammo box. And then, then it goes black plastic piece, washer. That's pretty cool. Washer. And then nut. Um, now nut. your box is anchored in the front um, from that that three bolt bracket that we installed into the wheel well. And then this one is installed into so we're the... almost all injured. Yep, just the other side. Sweet. J Hicks down. Yeah, this baby is solid. Nowhere. So these are where the wheels are gonna screw into. And they're just sliding into the back of the drawers so we can install the wheels. There's a couple of bolts that go onto here and then I'll attach the wheels on. It's pretty easy. You, this is uh, the first time that Hunter's legs have seen the sun this year. Yeah, I've been mostly wearing pants. So it's like the first week that it's actually on. Quarantine legs. Quarantine. <laughs> Hopefully we're not doing this wrong. So Eric's doing a bunch the of easy idiots. stuff. I'm doing the easy stuff, but I'm just kind of seeing how this ammo lid fits here on the ammo bin. Is that was called. You ammo just kind of get. Huh? Ammo can. Can. And you give it a little just a little hit. And it comes out super easy. So unless I'm doing that wrong. I mean, pretty self-explanatory there. That's cool. So now we're just putting the wheels onto the back. Um, it's pretty easy. There's just a bolt and then they go onto those brackets that we just installed. We've got the drawers mostly assembled and now we're gonna slide them into the back of the truck. So there's two wheels that go along the bottom. Oh, so that's, you're tightening them in now? Yeah, you have to put them in because there's like a lip in the drawer that makes it so you can't like accidentally pull the drawer all the way out and then it flies out of the back of your truck. The second drawer. So we got these things. Feels it and keeps it from wiggling. This right here slips right under the system. Boom. And you have your nifty little bottle opener. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Pretty sweet. Final touches. Just about done here. We've got to screw this last plate, this measuring plate down here. We'll be done, but man, I give it a 10 out of 10 on installation. Obviously, Hunter did 99% of the work, but I mean, from the design, as Hunter stated before, brilliant design. Um, it should make putting bows and rifles in here, getting ammo and things of that nature out of the way and protected out of the weather and from getting stolen and free up room in the cab. So, really stoked to be hunting this year with deck and uh, decided to see what we can stuff in this bad boy. Video number three, we're gonna put a shell on over the deck. 
So that's next.